Okay guys, I wanted to show you a little operating system that are good for the is good for these little Asus EEE PC 701 SD model, which is from 2008. As you see, I got it right here in front of me. I was working on it for somebody, the same person that had a, the black one with XP, but this one was running too slow with XP. And it has like an 8 gigabyte flash internal storage, which is like supposed to be like a SSD, which is known as a solid state drive. It somehow recognized this thing as an IDE hard drive. Yeah, I and mean, this one has a few little problems. As you see, the uh, touchpad is kind of skippy. And some of the keys don't work, and it's like they get stuck. Yeah, I have to hook up an external keyboard and mouse because it gets aggravating to use the keyboard and this little touchpad. I'm gonna go ahead and power this little bad boy. I'm gonna show you a little operating system which is nice and good. For yeah, hold it down to for a for like a second just for the thing to come on. Yeah, I'm using my phone for and you may notice the frame rate may be a little low I'm not trying to give anybody a headache. Uh, I didn't feel like getting out the camera because the camera makes it too large to upload and I have a crappy internet connection. And as you see, this computer I had installed Kubuntu from a flash drive and it takes up less disk space than Windows. It's better than using the XP Lite or any other Windows operating system they're capable to run Windows but sometimes Windows would usually take up a lot of space on these little netbook and this is Kubuntu 11.10 and it's currently booting up and I was fixing it for somebody as you see Well, let me put in the password. It could be a little sluggish because of the 512 megabytes of RAM this thing has. And it's good with battery life with Linux on this thing. And it has a better startup sound, too, that came with Kubuntu. And it's trying to boot up. You just gotta give it a little time, give it a little patience. And I also installed Mozilla Firefox. Huh, no startup sound? Let me finish putting the password in. For KDE Wallet. That's what's going to be needed to run your wireless connection for your Wi-Fi. There's a, a bug report thing. Let me put the computer up real close so y'all guys could see it real well. And I had the volume cranked all the way up. Yeah, it's running Mozilla. It's, run it's running with an Intel Celeron with 900 megahertz. And it's better than using the keyboard. It's kind of like Ubuntu, but it's a little different. And as you see, I kind of changed it, the layout a bit. You just gotta give it a little time. But it is, it runs pretty smooth. It's best to run one program at a time. This should come up. Oh, there we go. We got Firefox. Let's see what version this is. Help. I wonder if this is a recent version or a different version. Because it's similar to 4.0 to 8.0, which is the current version. Let me get down, get comfortable <laughs> real quick. Because this computer has a small little screen.
Oh, it's 8.0, so we're good to go. And let's have to go to YouTube. And I have like a alternative of Flash Player installed. Yeah, for the person to use. Let me show them how to use the OS. Find a way to close that ad. Oh well. Let's look up a video. Let's, let's go to one of my videos. Yeah, this could be a little sluggish with certain YouTube videos. Let's see which one. Let's go to one of them. Let's see if he'll. I'm gonna show you how it can handle a YouTube video. I'm gonna use one of my videos. Okay, everyone, this is going to be a video, but well, yeah, as you see, it's um playing the video. This is the battery life right here. And as you notice, it's running a different, it's similar to Flash Player, but it's kind of different. It plays like a, a .swf format for videos on the internet. I don't know why I got two Firefoxes running on this. Let's see one running app. And you can easily customize the front. It's, you can also put add like the games multimedia. It's really it's a really great machine to have OS to use for these little older netbooks. It'll be like having something closer to the, to today's standards. So this is a little video on what on a Kubuntu on, on a netbook. So I hope to see you guys later. See ya.